Hello YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, troubleshoot and fix a windshield washer, uh, I guess, assembly or nozzle or hose or whatever you want to call it uh, that's not working. Uh, basically, uh, the problem was I would you know, do my windshield washer fluid to try and wash off the windshield and nothing came out, but I could hear the motor uh, pump, uh, the pump uh, working and I always had a, a leak on the driveway right about there. So my guess was that the uh, hose from the pump, uh, which is uh, around this area up to the nozzles was disconnected somewhere. And as it turns out, I was right. But the reason I'm posting this video is there was zero uh, videos on YouTube about how to, how to find out where this hose was routed and how to get to it. So anyway, this is not going to be a complete uh, overview of the system, but I can at least show you what I found out. Uh, so basically, um, I've already got it torn apart at this point, and uh, I will show the other videos, or actually I'll just walk through. I don't want this to be a long video, so I'm going to walk through what I had to do. Uh, but on my Honda Accord, these pieces uh, were in the engine. Um, you can see they... Uh, if you've got one, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. But so I pulled this piece off, and uh, the other two pieces you see on the ground there were the ones from this side and this side. And as it turns out, I didn't need to take off uh, the one over here. I was just kind of investigating. Now, the second thing you got to do is take the uh, the passenger front tire off. As you can see, I've got here, and then uh, there's two bolts underneath the front, little 10 meter 10 millimeter bolts. Um, there's one right here and one right here. And then there's just, uh, I don't know, four or five of these little clips. Just find those to pull off uh, this piece. So there's one here, one here, one here, one right here. And I think that's all I did. You can see I didn't take it all the way off. Uh, really, you don't even have to, you know, depending on what you need to fix, you may not even, even have to take off this panel, but this is how you access the washer reservoir and this is the pump and you can see everything's connected and everything's working fine. Uh, the thing I was interested in is finding the routing of this hose find out where it went. So I could see here that it went up and uh, I don't know if you can see that or not but uh, it went up above the fender so I basically just came over to the other side of the wheel, wheel and I pulled off a couple more clips. Uh, one here down here and then this kind of just tucks in behind the fender. One thing I will say is the, the little clips on this side are a little shorter so don't assume they're all the same size. These were a little bit shorter on this side uh, compared to the other ones. You can see the difference here. Hopefully you can see that. So I kept those separate. Now I did have to take this piece off. Um, it just kind of went on like that. Four screws. They're all the same size. So that's that. All right, so once I got this pulled apart, I was able to um, find the problem. And basically this uh, was hanging down here like this. See, it's even got a nice connector on the end, but that's why my when I ran it, it was just squirting down on the ground right below this fender panel. So that was the problem. Now the, the next problem I had was I... It's kind of tight in here and I don't see anything that it connects to. I see this little thing that maybe maybe it went to, I didn't know. Um, the first thing I tried was sticking that in there. There's no connector or anything in there. So next thing I had to do was pull off this piece. See that piece there had a little screw fitting there that didn't work so I had to tear it out. And this one I had a little better success getting it out. It's, uh, it's a little Phillips head plastic screw connector thingy. I don't know if you can see those. There's the, the piece that kind of goes in the hole first. Like that. And then you got this little plastic Phillips head screw that goes in to hold it in. But they don't back out real well. So anyway. One of them I destroyed totally, and the other one I can reuse, so hopefully I can find one of those to replace. 
But anyway, once I got that thing off, that's when I found uh, the piece that was uh, where it was disconnected to. And from there, you can, it's very hard to see, but basically you can get behind this uh, fender right, right there. So basically I just stuck my hand in here, found this piece, and I can stick my hand up in there. Hopefully you can see this. I know it's probably a horrible picture, but there it is. Worked it up through there. And all I have to do is connect those. Okay, and there they are uh, together. And should be ready to go. So I'll give it a try and make sure it works, and then I'll post the video. All right, I've got it started up now. Let's see if it works. Look at that, success. All right, now I can get back to having clean windshields again. All right, hope you like this video. If you do, uh, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. Um, love to hear good comments. Love to hear where things maybe didn't work for you and you found something different. But uh, just let me know and have a good day.